Hey y'all, peace and assalamu alaikum. Ciao, ciao, ciao. So y'all, I've been doing um, like family genealogy for several years now and so much information has come to light, of course, if any of you have been doing this. Y'all, I know y'all are finding all kinds of information where you're like, huh, wait, wait. <laughs> and so, in my family, um, first of all, if you like this video, please click like and subscribe. So, my family is Afro-Native, as I said before. Um, we either identify as black and or black and Afro-Native, whatever. But nobody really like claims the white side. <laughs> because first of all, it's obvious, you know what I'm saying? Why well, I gotta talk about that. But um <laughs> I'm just joking. But my grandmother, well my mother, um, her father was Afro Native, his mother's Mohawk, um, his father was, you know, African American, and as I said in another video. We're also told that he was Cherokee, but I don't have any information to back that up. So I don't really claim it until I find it. I'm very much a document document um, type person. Like I need some proof. Cause everybody in mama would say that, you know, have native ancestry, but it could be true. A lot of the time it is true, but sometimes it's just simply not. Me, myself, I like to have proof of who I am. But anyway, so, um, and my mother's mother was Irish and German smack that down the middle her father was Irish her mother was German and so um my grandma was dope first of all she has some Karen issues <laughs> sometimes but um <laughs> for the most part my grandma was just dope she um was just a very giving person she used to take care of people just like for free you know um elder people especially and she did this for years. She like would crochet Afghans for them and go to the house and help, you know, clean up whatever, you know, needed to be done, she would do. And so, but my, um, the, the family lore has always been that her, her family disowned her because she married a black man. So, um, you know, that's just always been a going thing, and it's like, that's messed up, but personally, I, I could get it. I understand, not only because this is way back in the day, but also, truth, like, keeping it a thousand, I look at my daughter some kind of way, too, if they come home with a white man. <laughs> like, I wouldn't kick them out or nothing like that. I'll just be like, really, you couldn't. But, um, <laughs> that's the God's, God's honest truth, like I always say. My grandmama ain't even like black uh, white men. But anyway, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, the story has always been that, um, you know, her parents kicked her out the house and just owned her because she married a black man. And so, um, you know, this has been a going thing. And so about maybe seven or eight years ago, maybe. You know, I have a bunch of information on Ancestry.com, family tree and everything. And, you know, I would try to find her family, but only have so much to go on. Um, and so, ooh, here we go with this. And so, one day somebody contacted me on there and said, you know, I've been looking for my, um, my Aunt Miriam. She was married to someone named Williams. I think that you know who she is. So I'm like, yeah, that's my grandmother, you know. So we connected, and it was all love. And, um, you know, it turns out that she is my cousin Renee. Like, my first cousin once removed, I think. So, like, my second cousin. We would say second cousin. And so it turns out that she is the daughter of my grandmother's brother. And so since then a lot of information has come out just from us comparing notes and things that she remembers she um was like my around my mother's the, around the age my mother would have been i guess so she's somewhere in her upper 50s maybe early 60s sorry renee if you hear this and i'm wrong <laughs> but um 
So, you know, we compare notes and just in talking and asking questions and stuff. So, she actually got, you know, a story on their end, like the, the white side of the family. And so, like she knew this aunt existed. I don't know. I don't think she ever met her, but she would just kind of catch, you know, wind about this aunt Miriam. And um, she, what she heard on that end is that my grandmother and my grandfather came to her daddy's house and I don't know what went down I don't know what my grandfather was thinking about going up in his crib <laughs> in the 1950s you know you're kind of young you cocky and stupid but he went there for whatever reason and great granddaddy was sitting on the porch with a rifle and was like you got a uh, you got a choice you either come home or you go with him. And she chose to go with granddaddy. That to me is not the same as get your ass out of my house. She wanted to be with her man. She made that choice. All right, you want to make that choice? Bye-bye. Now, a lot of us would have, you know, at some point gotten weak or whatever for a better, you know, way of seeing it. And would have called it back home or whatever. They ain't what they did. Again, I'm at them, mad at them. I understand people. Okay. We make our choices. We got to deal with them on her end and their end, in my opinion. But, <laughs> and you know, again, me not getting all into my feelings because some of my um, family members, like my mother's siblings, they really be feeling like really hard about that. Like they got, they didn't want us because we were niggers and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, did you actually hear them say that? Like if they weren't around and weren't dealing with you, how you know if that's what they said? But you know, again, they be all in their feelings and everything. Me, I tend to, I'm like over analytical sometimes. And so I don't really, again, I know people, I understand people. I understand people have their beliefs and their, you know, everything going on. It's just recently that society on the whole now is like, oh, love everybody. And a lot of that is a bunch of BS too. So, all right, whatever. So, I was just like, maybe that's what happened. Maybe it's not what happened. You know, my cousin Renee got a slightly different story than we got. Maybe the truth is somewhere in the middle, you know what I mean? And so... I have um, some papers at home from when my grandmother finally filed for divorce like freaking 30, 40 years later. And um, she had in there that they had been married approximately October of 1950. Well, you know, I was like, I think it said 50. Maybe it said 51. I don't know. But anyway, it had me kind of raising my eyebrow, like, mm-mm, that's kind of close to when mommy was born. <laughs> so sure enough, today, Ancestry has this, like, free five-day whatever thing where you can search because I need to get my subscription back. I just haven't yet. So, you know, they emailed me about it. I was like, cool, I'm going to go ahead and go on there. And so I, again, looked up my grandparents' um marriage certificate you know a lot of times you can't find stuff on there and now you know i've gone down to the jersey archives and everything and found all kinds of information mashallah but sometimes they haven't put stuff on ancestry just yet and you got to kind of keep checking back and forth sure enough i checked today and here come the information popping up about when they got married which was october of 1951. my mama was born january of 1952 you dig when I'm going with this, right? And so, <laughs> I'm really even more starting to question if, again, there was um, part of the truth on the black side, part of the truth on the white side. And um, because the way I'm thinking, yeah, my great-granddaddy might have had some issues with my um, granddad being black again okay the same way i'll be looking at my daughter cross-eyed as she brought a white man 
I've been looking at a cross side and she brought some little tacky ass black dude in here too. Although I don't think my grandfather was a tacky dude like that. Not from pictures that I saw or whatever. And just knowing him. But um <laughs> again, maybe the great grandfather felt that way. You wanna be with a black dude, you got to go. But I will bet you dollars the donuts. The bigger problem would be you done got your ass knocked up. <laughs> You got to go. People even now, which I don't understand, put their daughters out when they get pregnant. And especially back, we're talking about 1951, y'all. 19, yeah, 51. Come on. You, it was an embarrassment for your daughter to be pregnant and not be married and all that kind of stuff. And actually, I wonder if my grandfather was um, made to marry her because I'm um, not saying he didn't love her and she didn't love him, but my maternal great-grandfather, my grandfather's father was the reverend. So I'm sure he was not having none of that. Like, you're going to do right by this woman. And so I'm sure, you know, they were young. She was much younger than my grandfather by several years. And um, number one, you pregnant, you going with that baby daddy. If he going to have you, you know what I mean? And her, um, my grandfather's parents must have embraced her too because I know she used to um, live with them when they were, when my mom and all of them were little, they all lived together, which I did. I missed that sort of thing because I grew up like that too. But, um, you know, I just, I say all this to say, not just to say, tell my business, but I just think it's fascinating. And I don't think like, I'm, I don't feel like I'm calling my grandmother out or anything because number one, she passed away. Number two, she was well into her eighties when she passed, but more than anything, number three, my grandmother was just like, if I, if we would have found out and say, grandma, such and such happened, she'd be like, well, you know, <laughs> so I ain't even be for that. Like, again, my grandmother was cool. But it just goes to show, like, there are so many things about the family, your families, that you do not know. And you can swear up and down, child, this, this things are like such and such and such. Now, my grandmother, I remember hearing from my mother when I was a little girl. I don't know how I remember stuff from way back then. Couldn't tell you what I ate, like, 15 minutes ago. But... I remember my mom telling me that my great grandmother who like raised me we were all in the same house how she had been married before my mother's grandfather and one of my relatives I mentioned it she did not want to hear it she was like nope I never heard that so why I didn't hear it first of all I got the documentation right here because I rocks like that but um you know you never know what happened you know it's it's true it is what happened and, um, you know, relatives that we thought were, um, like a, I don't know how to say this. I don't, I don't even like using these terms because it is not like a black or brown thing, but like people that we thought were like whole relatives or like whole brothers and stuff like that actually were not. And so they're just all these things in our past that, you know, like my granddad, told me before when I used to ask him questions about things he would say like you know when I was growing up children were supposed to be seen and not heard like we didn't talk about those sorts of things and it's just it's just what it is that's why it took us so damn long to realize that we were native because they ain't talk about that ish. but um <laughs> yeah man it's just like it's just so crazy and fascinating to me I don't again I understand people we are just all human and it's just dope to me and it, it really makes um makes my foremothers and forefathers more real to me as opposed to you know people talk about ancestors all the time like it's this great like oh like this you know spectacular mystical type of thing they were just people they used to f up and do stuff too so I mean we need I just I'm not one of those people I ain't trying to front like my ancestors were like untouchable all this and all that and they're off somewhere making all these great plans and stuff for me from the netherworld and shit they're regular folks <laughs> they used to cuss piss crap on people as well as just be like dope and giving and you know um 
philanthropist and all the good stuff with the bad stuff i know for sure my grandmama oh stuff i hear about my daddy's mama she was not the one to be effing with but hey man women <laughs> um like she'll pull out a gun on a cat in a minute and so yeah she was dope and i have beautiful wonderful um semi -mem semi memories because i was so young when she passed away but um you know great great respect for her but she was just a chick who would go up in your mouth and i love that i love the fact that i come from like these killers and these you know priests <laughs> you know what i mean these priestesses and I, I love that because it's balanced and it's real to me. So when I say these things, it's not out of it's not from any sort of disrespect to my grandmother or anything. I just think it's dope. And even for her, there's so many things about her and not just her, like all my grandmothers that I know of. I'm it, on both sides, the natives, the black Americans. Well, I don't really have a, a black American grandmother, do I? Now, I have a black American grandmother, I think. My mother, my grandma was um, Bahamian, Irish, and German. I'm missing people somewhere. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I just have so much great respect for them. And um, I see so many things that I'm learning more and more were parts of their personalities that they're actually my personality also and I just think it's dope and I thank them for giving me that as well as my grandfather's I just I love it they're dope so all this is to say you know when I make these videos and put all my business out there in the streets it's really anything I ever make like I always say is about education in my mind I'm um, trying to educate people, inspire people, give you um, something to kind of delve into. And this is one of the things, if you do not already, um, you know, like research and study your family and your past, I think you should really do so. It's just dope. And it can really help you learn who you are, I think. So anyway, I'm about to run up here in this Dollar Tree and spend way too much money. I'm going in there for one thing. I'm going to come out probably with like 20. Lord help me. I'm going to try my best, y'all. Peace.